Hi there! So finally the Amazfit GTS2 Mini has received the Alexa update. Yes, so a couple of months back I'd made an unboxing and review video for the Amazfit GTS2 Mini. If you haven't seen it, you can click the card up here. I'll also leave the link in the description. So at that time it didn't have the Alexa update and I'm sure a lot of people were looking forward to that, myself included, but it didn't work at launch. Finally now I got an update and along with that we got the Alexa voice control. So I'll show you how to set it up, how well it works. If this is your first time here, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. Also follow me on my social media handles for more tech info. This is your friend Texting. Let's get started. So first thing I'm going to make sure that the watch is paired and connected via Bluetooth to the phone. Then you go to the Zip app. Go to profile, Amaze for GTS2 Mini, write down you'll see system update, click. Right now it's showing updated because I've already updated it. But here is a short video while it was updating. Look for version 1.0.2.31. Now this update will take about 5 minutes to download and install. Just make sure that the display of the watch and the phone are on during this update process. Alright, once done. Go to the home screen of the watch and swipe left and there you see authorize Alexa on the device page of your app. Go back to the Zep app, come to profile, go to add accounts and right here below you can see Amazon Alexa. Click this. Log in with Amazon. Log in with your Amazon credentials. Once you're done, it's going to ask you to allow access, click allow, share your current location, you can click yes. And there we go, we are set up, time to put it to the test. What's the weather in Mumbai? It says thinking. Wow, that was fast. That was really fast. How tall is the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> wow, 900 feet tall. That's great. Let's try speaking to it in Hindi. Aaj ka weather kya hai? Ah, didn't work in Hindi. I also tried speaking to it in Hindi, but currently it didn't work. Works only if you speak in English. Alright, let's try to set an alarm. Set an alarm for 8 a.m. Wow, that's good. Okay. How much is 100 inches to centimeters? Wow. How much is 100 dollars to rupees? Wow. Can you believe that? Play Arijit Singh songs. No. Nope. So I mostly use Alexa at home and work to play music on my Echo devices. But unfortunately, you can't play music on this. You can also ask it to start timers, set alarms, uh, online info, conversions, even general trivia. But no music. Also, you can't start workouts with voice start commands, workout. which is really sad considering these are smartwatches with fitness tracking. Hopefully with an update we can get that. You can actually control lights and Alexa devices from the watch. Check this out. Turn off the lights. Turn on the lights. There you go. It's saying network busy but still working absolutely fine which is great. Also an important point to remember. For Alexa to work on your watch, it needs to be connected to your phone and that phone needs to have internet access. Wi-Fi or data, anything will do. But if it doesn't have internet, the Alexa won't work. Wow, this was fun. So I'm guessing this feature is also going to be available for all the GT2 series, the GTS2, the GTR2 and the E series. So go to the update option on your phone and look out for it. The setup process will be exactly the same. Also, if you're looking to buy any of these, I'll leave the links for all in the description. You should definitely check it out. 
Also, let me know if you want to see a long term review of the GTS 2 Mini. I would be happy to make one. Write down in the comments and let me know. I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, feedbacks, or complaints, mention it down in the comments. All are welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.